Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is another sort of editing day. Uh, nothing too special, no effects or anything like that, but just wanted to give everyone an update on the M2. Uh, now the last video of the M2 was obviously after the little bump that we had in it. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, the video is up here. Um, just you don't really see anything we just basically just get a bit rear-ended um, uh, slip road and there was nothing we could do about it and the other drivers admitted fault um, but obviously in the meantime I've had a lot of questions asked uh, what sort of condition of the car whether it be right off and all stuff like that um, from the get-go looking at the outside of, like cosmetic damage to it I suppose um, like the bumper and the boot, obviously we know the bumper's ruined, it had a big tear in it, the boot's most likely ruined and have to have a new one rather than be repaired because of the creases in it. Um, but we didn't know what sort of damage was underneath it, hopefully there wasn't, well, I was hoping for not too much. Um, anyway, been in contact with the body shop and they are very kindly sent a load of pictures through, They're not some of them aren't the best quality, uh, they're a little bit blurry and stuff but we'll try and work with it. Um, so I thought I'd do a video sort of explaining the damage and sort of showing everything that I've been shown. I've, I did ask to go down to the body shop and film it in person while the car was stripped but they said no due to health and safety and insurance and all that palaver um, it couldn't be done. So this is probably going to be the next best thing. So if we have a look at what they've sent through um, yeah so uh, first picture really blurry I can't really tell anything of that, but what I can tell is that obviously that's everything that's behind the bumper. So you've got your crash bar, some insulation by the looks of it, some plastic trim pieces where all the wiring looms clip into, and yeah, but you can see sort of the big dent there. Um, and then sort of after that, really, uh, a couple of other pictures. Again, this is the bumper on the floor. You can see the big tear along there, the crease, um, the diffuser, the plastic diffuser underneath where the exhaust towel pipes come out it's got a big crack again that'll be replaced um, but this is sort of the main one that I wanted to look at so this is the rear of the car that has been completely stripped um, no wiring looms no plastics no crash bar anything so this is sort of the, the critical point as uh, uh, the way I've been told and the way I shimmed and everything and this is what everyone said oh you want to make sure there's no damage underneath the crash bar and stuff like that so from what I've been told, um, and looking at this, um, basically the crash bar sits on these big four bolts here. Um, the, everything around the crash bar is absolutely fine, so that's good. Uh, there's no bends in the chassis or anything like that. Obviously, like, again, low impact, I assumed there wouldn't be. But there's been a bit more damage than we assumed to begin with because where the obviously I got rear-ended by a van, the van's higher up, so what he's sort of done, he's sort of, he's sort of gone over the over the crash bar, he's just sort of skimmed the top of it and just gone up, gone over the top. Um, but again, this is all repairable stuff, so it's not a right off or anything like that. So that's good. Um, and I've been given yeah a couple of weeks, a couple more weeks on top of this video um, to sort of get the estimated time of arrival to get the car back. So obviously we've got I don't I don't know what part you'd call it. I'll just call it the back end of the car. Um, but this this specific panel that comes runs along here and you can sort of see the weld lines around there like that and uh, they come up and over the crash barn yeah run around um this part here um it's like a, a and not a recess what's the opposite word to a recess you, you know what i mean it's, it sticks out um you can see obviously that is taking the brunt of it we've got a nice big crease there creases around there and that's the dent like the, the main impact point obviously that has all been pushed in um, so that has got to be replaced. It's beyond repair. So from the way they described it, it's basically they're going to cut it, cut that section out and weld a new one in, um, which I think is a fairly straightforward thing for a, a professional body shop. Um, I'm reading their reviews and they, they seem good at what they do. They're BMW approved or genuine BMW parts. So that's another good thing. Um, so yeah, that'll be welded, uh, cut and welded back in. Um, uh, so yeah, that's that. Everything below that, the exhaust, the heat shield, all things like that haven't been touched, so that doesn't need to be worried about. Um, again, picture is a little bit blurry, but this is obviously 
inside the boot. Um, we've got some wiring looms for the tail lights and sensors, wires for the battery. Um, not really too sure what they were trying to show me here um, because of the blurriness and obviously I don't really know what it looks like standard. I didn't buy the car and then strip all the boot lining back to have a look and yeah, uh, not going to worry too much about that one. Um, the only thing I can think they're trying to show me on this one, again it's a bit more strict about no wiring looms, is this bit here, um, there's a little it's not a dent, it's, that's actually like part of the car, it's not damaged or anything like that. Um, but you see this world line that comes around like that. Maybe, um, I can't remember if it was forward or back. Um, must be the other way. Uh, oh yeah, this is it. So, there's this dent here and a little world line there. That That's fine. And then on this one, I'm not sure if it's the angle that they've taken a picture at compared to the other picture but this looks a little bit a little bit more creased so there might be something there that they all pull straight uh, once the other panel has been cut out so yeah I'll have to have a look at that when the car's returned um, they did say they get they give you like a picture update timeline um, so yeah I'll, I'll keep an eye out for something like that and see what we get back um, that's the only thing I can think they're trying to show me there um, again, this is just the back of the car with everything stripped off it. You can see the exhaust being held up by cable ties. Um, nothing's along there. Just again, just I think this is all sort of more pictures that they have to do as a step-by-step -step strip down process. Um, yeah, again, not the best. A bit blurry. Nothing there. Um, uh, this is just the car sitting in the compound. Do do do. Nothing there. Again, this is sort of the main damage uh, pictures that they have to take before they start strip down work. And this is the same sort of pictures that I've taken of the car before sending it to them. Um, so yeah, there's the lens, rear tail light all smashed in once they'd obviously got the boot open. And there's our umbrella and our shopping bag, which is still in the car. Um, yeah, that's just showing the floor pan, that looks nice and flat. Again, that looks all good. But other than that, so it's just an edited picture of basically what they're gonna what they're gonna cut out and weld back in. Um, so that's that's fine. Um, so yeah, that's that really. Um, the only other main issue, not an issue issue as such, but I was concerned about was um, the paintwork. So originally I thought they would just paint the panels that they're replacing, so the boot and the bumper. Um, and then I was worried about maybe some sort of mismatch but because of the age of the paint, the original paint and the new paint and yeah, slight mismatches and the, the metallic flake that's in the paint. Um, I guess a couple of things could go wrong there that I was worried about. Um, but again, when I asked the question about that, he said when it comes down to correcting the paintwork and, get it, and getting a right match, um, they'll actually paint half the car uh, so from the B pillar backwards will be all fresh paint so everything matches and then it'll be blended in from the B pillar um, I guess that's going to be the point where there's going to be the, the least amount of paint mismatch because um, well obvious mismatch anyway because you'll have the line between the door and the rear quarter and then that little strip of metal uh, what do you call it pillar sort of pillar over the roof um, where the door what, what would be the, the A pillar B pillar sorry um, but yeah he's just like so I mean other than that doesn't seem too bad uh, the total repair cost with parts and labour is just going to come in at just over seven grand um, so yeah uh, it's quite interesting to see really I mean obviously I don't really want my own car to be crashed into to see this sort of stuff but I thought while I'm at it I'll make the most of it and by the time this video goes up maybe a week and hopefully a week and a half left it's already been delayed slightly because of Covid and Ukraine war and delays in parts of arriving and stuff like that but as far as I'm aware they've got most of the parts there bumper, boot, um, rear tail lights all ready to go in and they're just waiting for a couple of minor pieces like plastic trim clips and a rear parking sensor and silly things like that so yeah looking forward to getting her back i'm bored of driving a van um 24 7 now and uh we have got a courtesy car um 
there's just some weird insurance this thing to do with that. So the car was supplied by Thrifty. Um, both me and the girlfriend can drive it because we're both on the insurance policy. But at the time the car was dropped off, I wasn't here to accept the car and show the delivery driver my insurance details and my driver's license. So therefore I'm not insured to drive the courtesy car, even though I'm insured and yeah, I've got my license to drive my own car. So not quite sure what's going on there, but again, not too bothered about it because it's a courtesy car. I'll use my own van. Doesn't matter too much, but um, yeah, looking forward to getting the car back and I hope you are too. And yeah, hopefully soon we can start making some videos of it again and I'll be back going out to car shows. So for now, like and subscribe and I will see you on the very next one very soon. Cheers. And there she goes, off to the repair shop. Still looks good on the back of a trailer. <laughs> Bye for now.